Each and every day, a man called Tom went to the nursing home to, to visit her. And when he got there, she would normally ask him who he was and why he had come to, to visit her. And he would tell her about uh, the children and the grandchildren and all the various activities going on in the family. And then as he fed her her lunch, uh, he would tell her that he had been married uh, for 52 years to the same woman. And that woman was her. And as he taught her that, a lovely smile would come over her face as if she heard that for the first time. Her name was Margaret, and she had Alzheimer's. And when he would be leaving, he would gently caress her and kiss her and tell her that he loved her. And Tom's friends, aware of this, would say to him, why do you do that each and every day? Because she doesn't know who you are. And um, why put yourself to all that trouble each and every day? And Tom would repeat, she maybe does not know who I am, but I know her, and I know who I am but I know her, and I know who I am. And the reality of our lives is that we are known by our actions and how we treat one another is what people will remember, not just what we have said, but by what we have done by our, our actions. So, the question in the gospel today is, who do people say I am? The question asked by Jesus. And they said, well, some say you're John the Baptist, some say you're Elijah, and some say you are one, one of the prophets. But you, he said, who do you say I am? Who do you say I am? And Simon Peter spoke up and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus said to him, you are happy, Peter, or happy, Simon, because it was God who reveals this to you. And then you might wonder, as I have often wondered in the past, that the very last two lines in the gospel this morning, then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. Why do you think he said that? Why do you think that was so? Well, a good explanation for that might be for me to look at my own faith and to look at your faith this, this morning and what Jesus means in your life. And many, many, many of us, and I will count myself among them for many years, I believed in the existence of God and the existence of Jesus because of what I was told, what I was told by my parents, by the church, by my teachers. And only later on in life did I really begin to think about that and begin to ask myself a very deep and a very personal question. But who is Jesus to me? What part does Jesus play in my life? 
Who do you say that I am? Jesus says to each and every one of us this morning. He's saying it to, to me. He's saying it to you. How much does Jesus, does God matter in my life, in your life? Is Jesus something or somebody that I have a faint memory of that I occasionally maybe say rather than pray a little prayer to, and then I get on with, with my normal business? Or does, this is the question for each one of us here today, does Jesus play any part in your life, in my life? Well, I have to answer that for myself. I try each day to do everything that comes for love of Jesus. When I meet with a challenge or a difficulty or some upset or some pain or ache, I immediately turn to Jesus, not to complain or not to grumble, but to thank him for giving me this particular opportunity. What part, again, does Jesus play in your life? Jesus said one thing, the most important thing of all, we got to love one another. Is life all about me? Hopefully not. And you have to ask yourself that question. Is life all about you? We are about life, not about me. A life is not about me or not about you. We are to be about life. And what we do will determine where we, how happy we are or what peace we have in our lives. I don't know what image of God or Jesus you have in your mind when you think of God or when you think of Jesus, but we are defined by the image we have of God. Many of us believe maybe that God is somebody who uh, expects us to make sacrifices every, every day, and if we don't play according to the rules, we'll end up con condemned for all eternity. If that is the God that you believe in, I tell you, it is not the God that I b believe in. My God is a loving God, a forgiving God, a God aware of our weaknesses, a God to whom we can turn any time, any moment, who is always there ready to help, to help us, a God in whom we can trust. And when the chips are down, who do you trust most in? I presume, like myself, you have been let down by many, many people in the past, people in whom you, you put your trust. But I can never say that God has let me down, because I know that God is always on my side. So, come back to the question. Think about that today. Who do you say Jesus says to you today, who do you say I am? What part do I play in your life?